Hello, and welcome to the watering hole. Thanks for checking out this clip. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that'll make the baby Jesus cry. And I know how much you guys love making the baby Jesus cry. Let's do another countdown. And there we are. Hi, <laughs> how's it going? How are you? Welcome to my channel. We need more <laughs> countdowns. More countdowns. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the behind the scenes stuff. You guys know how my countdown has a countdown. Like it does the five, four, three, two, one at the beginning, and then it goes into the two minute timer. Um, I was suggesting to Shannon that I should do a, a, like a 10 second countdown before I start the countdown. So we have a countdown to the countdown to the countdown. <laughs> anyway, hello. Welcome to my channel. Vice Rhino here and joining me is Shannon Q. Applause. There we go. Ah, there, this is how we're supposed to start this thing. We're not clapping for me, I hope. We're clapping for you. I'm not worth clapping for. I'm going to ruin this show. That's fine. Uh, it's my, right. It's been my life's mission to destroy your channel. I've been trying. <laughs> I've been trying so hard. One day. <laughs> One Today day. might be it. Well, I mean, Paul passed me in numbers wise. He so did. He did. He I beat did. him to 10K. That's what counts. <laughs> I mean, I was just on his channel, though, so <laughs> you have uh, a chance. Okay. So um, now I'm going to open this one up by pointing out that um, my watering hole channel is monetized now. So I'm going to start streaming over there soon. So, so go over there. For fuck's so sake. go, go. I, I have a bot spamming the chat telling you to subscribe to that one. Um, so yeah, go do that. Cause right now. Yeah. I think I, well, I think like uh, there's probably going to be like a, ramp up period where not everybody's watching over there at the beginning so i might like alternate one over there and one over here for a bit who knows i kind of fly by the seat of my pants we'll figure it out everybody should just go over there and then you don't have to worry about it just yeah go over there and subscribe and then you can just go do you can just do the streams over there yeah everybody gets the streams that way yeah just go go click the button i i tried to make it easy I don't think the bots actually sent the link yet, but it's in the description as well. So is Shannon's channel. You have a channel. I do. I do have a channel. Do you still do stuff like over them. there? I do. <laughs> I do. I do still do. <laughs> I do. Yeah. At least at least once a month is my commitment to oh. post a video over there. Paul saying at his live channel. I just had Seth. Paul says his live channel will beat my live channel to 10K. Like, yeah, I, I think he's already at like what? He's being a dick 8, in the 000? chat. <laughs> no more than normal. Oh, that's valid. That's good. <laughs> all right. So are you ready to talk about some fleshy robots? Uh, that's all I wanted to do all day, actually. Uh, Even before I knew we were doing this article, that's all I wanted sorry, to do all day. Sorry, took a couple of weeks off, so I got to find out where my buttons are now. There we go. There's my <laughs> buttons. I don't even know if I'm in the right. I think I'm, I think I'm actually, I'm usually on top for these things. And then my guest is on That's the bottom. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm a top, but I'm on the bottom right now. <laughs> oh, it's already off the rails. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's well. That's fair. That's fine. Everything's fine. All right. So th this is this is cool. So scientists are are growing tissue cells, basically on a robot so that they can like have it mo like they, they grew it on the shoulder. So it was like wiggling its shoulder around while the cells were growing because movement is kind of detrimental to growth. It kind of rips things apart and stuff generally, mm -hmm. but also in case you hadn't noticed, like living people tend to move sometimes. <gasps> yeah. So if you're like growing things for a tissue, sample, it would be helpful if they were like resilient, resistant to the motion, the motion, the motion. <laughs> The motion. Yes. I, they, I have no alcohol tonight, so any slurred yeah, speech is just me being me. Drinking water. Me too. Like a loser. Yeah. It was a hot day today, so I'm hydrating yes. instead of drinking booze, which makes you dehydrated. Since when are you and I responsible? This is a mess. What's going on? <laughs> You're right, Shannon. This stream is a shit show. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so normally the, um, the, cells that they would be growing would be grown in uh, regenerative regenerative medicine is what they were using these for so normally they'd be grown in static environments like like peach tree dishes <laughs> i got that reference <laughs> <laughs> i oh i forgot to do it i was gonna like cue up the sound of her saying that because i was like i'm sure i could use that at some point but i just yeah. never got around to doing that 
I could have. I could have. Bill done. Gates is growing, growing meat and peach tree fish. Yeah, because when you when you eat it. the hamburgers, it's going to zap you, so that you want the the meat from the peach tree dishes. I know he's probably hiding vaccines Jeez. in there. Okay. Do you do you think do you think <laughs> she is really that stupid, feet. or is it an act at this point? I think it's probably a little from column A and a little from column B. True, like it's, truly, like like I truly, think truly, I don't think she's a smart woman, but I think that she's also recognized that like I, she's playing to a specific I think, demographic. Well, I think she knows that, and like, this will get her attention. So, I if I were to guess, I would say that the Gaspacho police was an honest mistake. But then when she saw how much attention she got for the Gaspacho yeah. police, she did this one on purpose and the, the peach tree dish thing. Because then she makes herself go viral and she yeah. keeps herself. So now in the news everybody's cycle. talking about her. Like exactly. people, like everybody. So like, and anyone who works in advertising. I don't know how she's going to top you. Jewish space lasers, though. Like I don't think that anything can top the Jewish space lasers. There's nothing. <laughs> like, can you oh. think of anything that could be stupider than that? D did anything. you read the whole post? Did you read the whole post? It was so ridiculous. No, I, I do not have that oh, kind of mental God. energy that I do not have the spoons to read well, an entire we're... Marjorie Taylor Greene dissertation was... about Jewish space lasers causing it, forest fires. It was not a short did post. You? I did read it. I know. I it was a long time ago. Like... I don't remember it, um, but it, there's there's some gems in there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> they still elected her. That's what blows my mind. So People were like, she seems like she's going to do a good job. Well, I think I think she ran unopposed the first time. Oh, oh, is that how she got in? I didn't yeah, realize that. Because she 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 moved districts something like three times before she found one where she could actually oh. win. So she it it's not that she was electable; it's that she had to hunt for a specific district that was stupid enough to elect her. Oh, so she just jumped district to district yeah. until there was one that there was like basically nobody running against her, so she could get in. I think so. I could be wrong on that, but that's what I recall. Yeah, we, we were talking we'll earlier about my ability to remember things versus my ability to recall things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. You guys, you guys didn't hear that. So the, the lowdown is uh, basically I'm really good at remembering things. I'm not so good at the recalling part of remembering things. So it's so not, in there, not but always just come out when useful. they feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so they uh, they would normally grow this stuff on in petri dishes or on three D scaffolds that are just stationary. They wouldn't move. Yeah. Um, so, but because it's supposed to be like regenerative medicine, this is tissue stuff that they're growing to graft onto people or whatever. Um, people move and flex, so they want the tissue to move and flex. So they're like, well, what if we grew it moving and flexing? Would there be a benefit to that? Uh, the answer cool. is we don't know, but. Um, basically my thought is fleshy sex bots are not that far off in our future. I, I should have fucking known. I should have known. <laughs> I should have known. I was like, oh, this is exciting. Vice and I are going to talk about some fun science stuff that might be like a great well, medical breakthrough in the future. And your head immediately went to... I well, wonder if this means that we're going to have like warm, fleshy sex robots soon. Well, that's that's the thing is that like, sure. So, so while the team observed changes in the exercising cells that were different from those grown in a static environment, they aren't mm -hmm. actually sure yet if those changes were any good. So, OK, they haven't figured out what they're going to do with this fleshy tissue. They just know that they can now grow tissue on moving robot stuff. So like. <laughs> they say they don't know what they're going to do with it, but come on, we know where this is going to end up. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's late stage capitalism. Everybody knows where it's going to <laughs> We all know. We all know. Uh, I, I like the way they phrase it. The cells were grown over a two week period during which they enjoyed a daily workout routine for 30 minutes each day. 30 minutes a day is all that they moved them for. Come on. That's weak sauce. Uh, the the bioreact somewhere, though, like they can't just put them in like. <laughs> Just leave it on all the put time. Them on like a windmill and see what happens. <laughs> well, it's, it's the shoulder joint, so it would just have to be a robot that's doing this all day. Um, for thirty minutes. They said the uh, the bioreactor was slotted into the shoulder and, for want of a better term, waggled about, though in a very scientific manner. <laughs> Aw, in a very scientific manner. I'm sure. I'm that... excited that that means that they could probably do like skin graft without actually having to use 
like living donors. Don't they don't like they already do like they'll already take like tissue samples from the person that needs the graft and grow more from that? I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know I if that's that they needed donors for large enough grafts. I'm I'm pretty sure that has been done. I don't know if that's a regular that thing yet. Cool. There's there's probably been like research stuff done on that. Cool. Um, Very neat. Yeah. So basically that whole thing was just an excuse to me for me to make sex bot jokes. I know. And I should have fucking seen it coming, but I didn't. I didn't. I've known you long enough that I should have seen that coming. You got me. You got me. <laughs> should have seen you, it coming. You should have seen it coming, just like the sex bots will. Yeah. Where's your drum thing? <laughs> but I'm just... <laughs> Perfect. Now All right. I know how it fits in. It's on brand. 